I think that the trial lawyer is the ultimate voice for justice. So there's a great quote uh, by a trial lawyer that said, the law is not settled until it is right, and it's not right until it's just. Since the earliest days of this nation, the trial court has been the bedrock of our system of justice. I truly believe that without trial lawyers, there'd be no checks and balances systems. There'd be products that were dangerous. There'd be people doing things that were not okay. Corporations be running rampant. So it is the absolute peacekeeper as a trial lawyer, and we protect the rights of people that don't have a voice for themselves. A lawyer has the unique ability to see both sides of an issue and try and reach some type of fairness and resolution and closure for people. And I think that's an unbelievably important thing in our society, in a democracy that we live in, in the United States of America. I think it's kind of the ultimate equalizer for the American people to really achieve justice and to see it before them and to see it played out in a way that is distinctly human and it's distinctively a part of our American process. What measures the quality of the lawyer is their attention to the needs of the client and the care that they give in setting up their future the right way. The way they serve their communities best is to be the counselor and the advocate for people who cannot carry their voices through the legal system. In some ways, the trial lawyer is the voice of justice for people, and that's very much Pepperdine's mission. Pepperdine's mission has enhanced my career in practice because one of the values that they preach here is to have a good ethical core. And it's embodied from you from the first day that you get here. And I'll tell you, I've never had a problem with another Pepperdine lawyer that I've litigated against, ever, because they get it. You're part of a family, you're part of a value system, and that's the way that you should try cases, it's the way that you should practice, and it's the way you should treat every single human being. You will be confronted with gray areas where you're going to have to figure out, is this ethical, is it not? You could always rationalize to go one way, but having that moral compass that this school gives you allows you to always make the right choice and always err on the side of caution. The measure of a trial program isn't just the success in the inner school, the mock program, um, but in the, in the real world. That's the litmus test that I hold our program up to. About six weeks after passing the bar, I had my first jury trial won it, did really well, and felt over-prepared to do what I needed to do, and that's because of the experience I had here. I was thrown into great circumstances that produced experience, and experience is what will make you or break you when you have to enter the courtroom. The advice that I give a young attorney that wants to be a successful trial lawyer is you have to be willing to take risk, you have to believe in yourself, and you have to be willing to lose. You're not going to win every case but you have to be willing to fight for your client to the end. And sometimes that's what the client really wants anyway. It's helped me to know that, that patience is very important and that you have to continue to have faith that the process will somehow work out, even though it doesn't always do it. But it's important to stand up and you know, make sure everybody knows that these people have rights and they deserve to be protected like anybody else. Humility and honesty and character, that's what carries you through as a trial lawyer. You know, I'm a trial lawyer because I wanted to help people. I put on my law school application, I wanted my life's work to have a positive, substantive impact on other people's lives. And it's been true for the last 23 years. There isn't a case that's big or small because you're talking about people. And it may be small to somebody else, but to that person who is giving you the honor of allowing you to represent them, it's a big case. It means something. And I think that's you know, one of the most important things that we can never lose sight of because we, we love to sensationalize numbers and, and you know, other aspects of cases, but we should never lose sight of the reality of what it is that we do. And that is, you know, we're there to try to solve problems and to right wrongs and to help heal people with the hopes that it has a broader impact and effect.